Hallo Hydrogarten Freunde! Since I'm coming up to the three year build anniversary for this vertical tower hydroponic system, I thought I'd give a quick update, uh, answer some frequently asked questions from subscribers. I'm happy with the way the plants are growing, the speed, the taste. I'm still doing the two week nursery tray over here. Hallo Chen! followed by the six weeks into the system. I have my herbs and uh, test varieties here on the side. There's dill and mint and some Asian greens and kale. I have uh, Thai basil, Italian basil. There's some Swiss chard in there, collard greens, uh, parsley, cilantro, uh, that sort of thing. I <laughs> I have been playing around with a new lighting system. Uh, it's 30 watt cob uh, lights, but I haven't gotten very far. This, this uh, LED technology seems like some black magic involved. So it kind of makes me nervous. Uh, but the, the two big changes that I've made is a lot of subscribers have been recommending that I do some sort of a reflective uh, behind to increase uh, the uh, re reflection um, to increase uh, growth. So I bought Mylar uh, emergency blankets on Amazon, a pack of 10 for under 10 bucks. And I put it up to the back and have it hanging to reflect the light. So we'll see how that works. Uh, I also uh, took a recommendation of sawing off the top of the LED light bulb. Uh, and interestingly enough, as you can see here on my light towers, interestingly enough, when I did a test at 8 inches, the uh, lux reading increased by about 40% without the diffuser compared with the diffuser. So I'm thinking, based on some testing, uh, I have my light towers about 22 inches or so from the plants uh, that they're getting about 10 to 15 maybe 20 percent uh, more uh, light higher light intensity and I reduce the number of bulbs on these towers from 10 to 7 so that's a 30 percent decrease in energy use uh, and an increase in uh, illumination so I think the plants are going to uh, respond positively to that. Uh, I also have some notes here, uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, people often ask, do I use net pots? No, I don't. I just plant the plant directly into the YT. I can pull out a plant here and see how it's doing. The roots grow directly in there. These are long roots. You can see how, I'm going to pull this out, and see how the water just drips down the front. Set this plant down uh, from the feed up here on the top. Another question, do I, where do I get my nutrient? I make my own nutrient if you uh, search on YouTube, uh, chill LED, that's one word plus the word nutrient. Uh, there's a gentleman who has a recipe which I've been using for these last two years and I'm very happy with that. Uh, it's important that I flush over here my nutrient container every three weeks. Here we go, I just uh, added, I topped off, uh, I top off uh, when necessary and test for pH uh, and nutrient weekly. I try to keep the nutrient level around uh, 12, 1000 to 1200. Uh, parts per million. What else do we got here? The pump uh, does not run constantly. I have it running 30 minutes on and then it takes a 15 minute break. Uh, the light, uh, the lights are on for 16 hours a day. Uh, and then if you would like a materials list, I have one in the description, uh, but uh, unfortunately I, I don't have the time to make an instructional uh, build a video, but uh, you'll be happy to know that I'm just a regular high school German teacher without any background in plumbing or electricity. Uh, so uh, if you uh, 
trust that I built this myself. I, I did. Uh, you can definitely do it yourself as well. So thanks for watching and happy hydroponic growing. Tschüss.